For seven days we have been standing before God, reciting daily the Hallel, expressing our homage with our floral bundle and festive song, and pleading for His blessings. Israel's Hallel tells of the changeable, sorrow-laden fate of the Jewish people, always finding renewed solace in the wondrous workings of God's help. And then we sing of that sublime time in history when one day the entire world will be inspired by our yearning for God's greatness. Then Israel will welcome all of mankind into its midst and will show them the way to the altar of God, whence they, too, will be touched by the warmth of God's enlivening glow. With the final hodu of Hallow, at the point when all of mankind begins to acknowledge God, we once again express our homage with the festive bundle toward the countenance of God. We are not only concerned to uplift those among our people who lack in their Torah learning and Torah living, but we care also about much of mankind, which is still far from a final recognition of God's will in their lives. As mankind will find its ultimate shield in the sukkah, so will the lesson of the willow branch bring meaning universally, even to the seemingly worthless. It is now clear why the Paitanim chose Hoshana Rabbah to compose such fervent prayers for the salvation of Israel and mankind. Imbued with unshakable trust in God, the prayers should assure Israel and mankind of a better future. Do you hear the voice of the herald? It bears the message of hope and gladness for a suffering world. Rabasi am beham licho. Israel rises up with its lilith bundle and is joined by all mankind for a life of eternal bliss. Kol mevaser mevaser v'yomer. It proclaims the destruction of the evildoer who sought to rob the world of its happiness. Kol mevaser mevaser v'yomer. Do you hear the voice of the herald? Tina Yeshuos la'am olam. Stripped of its leaves, the willow is struck down to earth. Those who understand its message can pray with confidence for the salvation to come. <laughs>